Hey, what's going on? This is a video that I'm going to be doing uh, pretty much. Um, this is a video of a few games I picked up. It's uh, just not too heavy, this, this pickup. It's going to be some games, mostly PS4 games. And at the end, a Super Famicom game. And people are wondering why I'm saving that for last. You'll see why. It's a great game. Um, but I'll go more into it later. First game is a Hatting Time. Uh, this game, it came out for the PS4 and also the Switch. Uh, it came out for the Switch first. And most people waited, was waiting upon this release of this. And it finally came out. They had in time. Pretty much this game is a action platformer. Um, you know, those action platformers reminds you of Banjo and Kazooie, Luca uh, Mario, those type action platformer type games. Um, so pretty much, as you can see, 3D action 3D platformers are back. Travel with Hat Kid as she tries to recover her hourglass shaped fuel for a spaceship. Race to collect them as everyone else on the planet is hunt for them as well, including the evil little mustache girl. Upgrade your hat by attaching badges to it. Collect yarn to create new hats and defeat everyone in your way with your trusty umbrella. Also includes uh, the first uh, DLC on, on the disc. Seal the deal. Um, explore a new chapter, new difficulty, death with discover new outfits, players, dies, and camera filters. Uh, pretty much in this game, it, it's, a, it's a throwback, like I said before, to these action platformers. And you're dealing with the Hat Kid who was traveling um, through, through the world to her own planet when she is uh, pretty much stopped by uh, the Mafia which you'll understand in the game. The Mafia, which in turn damages damages her ship. And as you can see right here, that hourglass-shaped fuel, which she's trying to uh, get back so she can make it home. Um, they damage her ship. That affects her. She has to collect the repair. So you're dealing with that. You're going to these different areas and collecting these hourglass items and also other items as well you see you're upgrading your hats and your outfits and other things as well as you do through many uh platformer type games you're dealing with that and you're you know progressing and doing that um if you're into action platformers it's a great game to have it's a love letter to those games and it and it, it brings you back to those old action platformer type games so pick that up all right next game next game is another ps4 game um a game that um if you waited you got the let's go into it you got the legendary edition evil land legendary edition pretty much in this game it's evil land um you get one and two a uh, game with this legendary edition so as you can see evil land legendary edition uh, brings you two great and unique RPGs with their graphic style and gameplay. Change it as you progress through the game. So the, in this game, um, it's a you know it's a RPG. Uh, you start as like you know those old Nintendo style RPGs, and you slowly evolve into the newer style RPGs. Um, it takes that take on it. So pretty much, you know, RPG evolves into many other RPGs. And pretty much you're, um, in the first game, you're like the last member of this society. Um, pretty much you're the last member that's trying to keep peace. And you're, you're you know, pretty much collecting items and progressing to, to keep this peace of the land. Um, the next one... Evil Land 2, um, you're pretty much, you wake up in a village and you're, thrown, and you're thrown out of your village or your land because of a relic. And being thrown out of your own land, you're trying to make it back. So you're collecting items and you're trying to make it back home. And pretty much in each one of these RPGs, Evil Land 1 and Evil Land 2, um, 
you're pretty much it's going from an old RPG and progressing to a new RPG, and you kind of see it as you progress through the game. Um, in this game, but also as well, especially more in two, um, you have mini games. You have like snake, snake style type game, like old snake game on the phone. If you know, you know. If you don't, you're too young for that. But snake games. Uh, you also have like almost a Street Fighter type game where you have these two characters that are fighting as well as a mini game. So it has a good thing of that. Um, both of the games, um, even when have one, um, it probably will take you around two hours to beat. It's a little, little shorter than Evil Land 2. Evil Land 2 has more to do. It kind of evolved upon the game, the first one. And it'll take around like 12 to 15 hours because of the game and the, uh, you know, the mini games as well. Um, great game if you're into RPGs. It's not, not just RPGs, other games as well. But that is the premise of it, the RPG elements of the game um great game to pick up i think this would be a sought after game as well as the previous game um to pick up and pick that up um evil land legendary edition like i said before it has the uh both evil lands on on one disc all right next game is a uh Pretty much this game is a, um, like a scary, uh, well, it's a, it's a survival horror, third person survival horror. So it, it's like in the reminiscent of the old Resident Evils. So that game is Deluxe Edition, Fear and Fear the Presence. The game is Song of Horror. This is for the PS4 as well. Um, a lot of these games are little known games that really didn't come over here. Um, except these, they had a time. Um, Song of Horror is a, like I said before, it's a uh, survival horror game in third person. Um, also has those fixed camera angles as well as those old uh, um, Resident Evils. Fear, fear the present. A mysterious entity cannot fight. Stay alert, hide, breathe slowly, explore cursed places where unseen spirits and lost souls linger in true horror story for the ages. So pretty much, um, you know, you're dealing with that. The deluxe edition includes the maps, guides, character guides. Um, so that you're getting that booklet with this actual, as you can see up in there, that deals with this game. Um, pretty much um, you're dealing with a main character main protagonist named Daniel who is a writer who goes to the one of the best uh I guess writers horror type writers Sebastian Hustler um goes to his home goes to his home he's not there so upon going to the home um Daniel encounters this noisy here this music box noise uh would leap uh, which pretty much leads him or leads him to uh you know being stalked and whatnot so you daniel's the main character but you have other characters as well that you deal with as well um one of the thing that things that's in this game is permadeath so your character well daniel if daniel dies you have to start over but um pretty much your other characters from permadeath they're dead you know so um you could turn that off but the game is intended to have that aspect of the game with the permadeath of your like side character like if they die you know that you know if Daniel die if act you have to start it over but if they die they're permanently going out of the game so uh, you know that game that that's one thing that's different about this game that they implemented in this game um, so pretty much your characters characters have cer certain aspects of them uh, pretty much speed, uh, stealth, strength, and serenity. Those actions are uh, distributed through your characters. Um, pretty much speed, you run faster, you run faster to hide in places. Stealth, you're able to wander around the mansion, uh, the mansion which is uh, Sebastian Tussler. Uh, you're able to wander around more, uh, able to avoid unscripted uh, attacks 
strength, you're able to slam doors, you know, able to protect yourself that way, serenity, you're able to calm down faster, and, and it aids in the mini games as well. So you have a lot of those mini games when these characters try to come after you. So it kind of it kind of uh, allevi alleviates a little bit of the uh, perma death thing. They kind of give you a uh, ability to avoid that, and through these mini games and whatnot. So it kind of helps you out. It doesn't makes it cheap, you know. Um, it kind of helps you out in that perma death permadeath thing so uh great horror game if you're into a horror game this is one to get i know this game is a little little is known about little is heard about it i think this game is going to be sought after in the future um because of uh if you're into those survival horrors and whatnot because yeah it it, it's not too much has been said about this game if you don't know about it you wouldn't you wouldn't even know so pick that up Next game I got. This is a game. Um, pretty much this game was on the uh, Super Famicom. Um, it didn't really come over to America. Uh, it didn't um, unless you bought a uh, repro cart or um, you know. Um, something in that nature repro or downloaded online on a computer to play it stuff like that only came to japan and pal areas i don't know why it didn't because this game well i kind of have a feeling why it did um uh, i believe because it was in the later life of the super nintendo most kids and everything were moved on to uh the uh 64 also, um, I think the concepts of the game premise as well kind of made it uh, not come over to America because America is a little bit funny style in that way. Um, so the game is. Bam, people are like, what is that game? If some people may already know, um, this game is uh, is pretty much an action platformer most people probably know it now uh this game right here is it came uh, this is a japanese version i wish could have pal pal super expensive this game japanese is super expensive it's called terra enigma so terra enigma is a action action you know pretty much rpg that came out over in pal and japanese uh territories is developed by the studio quintet Quintet is a studio to develop other games for the Super Nintendo, Soul Blazers, Illusion of Gaia, Action Razor 1 and 2. This was their last game that they made, the studio. The last, the last game they ever made, and the studio broke up after that. Um, uh, some of the people went to other studios as well, but the core of the studio made this, this was their last game, Quintet. Um, pretty much this game deals with destruction and creation and uh, and shows how they're linked. Um, the Earth is pretty much like the Earth viewing the actions of humans. So pretty much, you know, in this game, um, they have a lot of key cut scenes, great music, um, great game. Um, I, most people put it in the likes of the Corona Trigger and the Final Fantasy VI. They put it up into those lights. Most people know about this game that are in Nepal territories. They were playing this game while most Americans was already moved on to the 360s. Um, so um, this game right here is a great game. Um, most people don't even know about it, which is crazy. Um, pretty much in this game is an action RPG. Like I said, you deal with the main character named Ark. He's a mischievous type character, but a good person. You know, he's just a young, mischievous little kid who happens to open up just by mistake Pandora's box. So he opens up Pandora's box, right? And by doing so, he um, messes up the world as far as he messes up his land. He freezes everybody. Everybody's frozen. Except this character, the elder of the village, who kind of like yo you know says yo man you messed up you messed up the world you have to fix this 
So he lets him know what he has to do to fix it. So pretty much in this game, you're dealing with fixing the lands. You're fixing the world pretty much. So you go to these dungeons. And every time you go to these dungeons, beat the, beat the boss, beat all the bad guys in this dungeon. You resurrect the world. So by resurrect the world, you res resurrect sections of the world. And it deals with real life areas of the world. So you might resurrect Australia, Africa, South America, you know, all type of places. And you get to visit these places as well. So it pretty much deals with that as well. And pretty much, you know, by doing so, you're reviving the world. You know, the concept of the game is so far ahead. That's why I believe it kind of, like, didn't want to bring that over here because it's, like, made for kids. And, you know, the game, it deals with life, de death, resurrection, destruction, rebuilding, defying fate. All those items are dealt in this game. So, great game. Um, you know, Enix, you see it there they're involved as well um this is a great game that i'm uh, sad to say that it never made hopefully they'll bring it over like the live alive game coming over now on the switch maybe they'll bring this game over terra enigma um it's so many games that they never brought over which are great games and this is one of them it's, it's crazy expensive for this game um you know which is crazy, you know, it's pretty expensive, especially if you're trying to get the PAL edition. Luckily, um, I got the Japanese edition. I don't care. It's still expensive as well. I don't care because I have a Retron 5, so I can play uh, Super Famicom games, and it, it, I could do pack. I could put my my little car in, and it'll it'll translate it to English. So. Um, that's why I got this edition of the game. Um, Pals are more sought after because it's already in English. Um, and you don't have to worry about that as far as uh, the language issue. Um, great game. Um, I, this might be, it's, it's up there with, with those games. Might, might, it might even be better um, than those games. The, Corona, the, the famed games, the Corona Trigger, and Final Fantasy VI. Um, great game if you can play it um, through emulation you know if you can um, this is a great action RPG game which you deal with action you progress and level up and gain you can buy items as well it deals with magic and you can buy buy items for its different outfits and weapons and stuff like that by you beating these enemies they drop these uh, this coinage I guess you would say that you can buy items but great game um you know very going it's already sought after great game pick that up um games like i said before pick this game up super famicom game terra enigma pick that up uh, also for the ps4 song of horror ps4 as well evil land the legendary edition and i had in time um that's going to be it for this catch you guys next time